home of the Liberty Bell, the Cheese Steak, and so much more. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania is the site for this exciting matchup between the Giants and the Eagles. But you know what makes it such a great rivalry is the fact the Giants or, or the Eagles, no matter where the game is, what do they do? They just get on a bus and drive down the road, and there they are in enemy territory. So it's always exciting to watch this rivalry. What makes the Giants-Eagles rivalry so special? Well, I think the fact that they're so close, and of course we all know New York, the big city, Philadelphia doesn't like that. And over the years, it seems like for the last 20 years, so as long as I follow football, I should say, it's about who hits the hardest, wins the game. That makes for exciting football. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. They need to get the playoff. They come to the line, and it's first down. Fix looking long. The pass is incomplete. There was no one open. What a good job by the defensive back that time. That ball was thrown beautifully down the field. High arcing throw, but the defensive back in great position knocks it down. The quarterback mixing things up at the line of scrimmage. Coming up second down. Takes the staff from the shotgun the quarterback throws the pass touchdown Philadelphia Eagles what a good job by the wide receiver not a terrific pass but he just goes in there makes a wonderful catch for the touchdown add the extra point the kick is good and after that extra point the Eagles are bleeding by seven Alex Henry Ready for the kickoff. He's a dangerous returner, and he'll have a chance to show you right here. First down, coming up. Action fake and dropping back to throw. And he's tackled at the 34 yard line. Well, when you want to spy the quarterback, that's great. You might stop him from running, but look at the open people down the field. Good throw and catch by the quarterback. And here we have second down. Steps back to throw. And it's intercepted by Asamoah. And he's brought to the ground. Nothing worse than as a quarterback to throw an interception early in the game. And you just got to make sure you go over the, to the bench, you talk to yourself, keep your confidence up, and keep attacking. The defense trying to make a play here in the red zone. He's got some daylight in the books. Touchdown. Well, you got a lead. You drive down the field. You score a touchdown. Now we're going to find out if the other team can stay patient or will they panic. The Eagles for the extra point. It's good. Following the extra point, the Eagles lead by 14. They line up here for the onside kick. They want that football back. The onside kick executed to near perfection, and it looks like the kicking team has it. Split backfield here. First and ten. Working that left side. Brings it in. Always hard to pick up that first first down. 
Good job by the offensive coordinator designing some plays, keeping the defense off balance to get his team in rhythm. The quarterback has his team's attention here. First down here. And now on first down, we'll go back to the air. Fix looking long. Intercepted by Antrell Rowe. Well, as a quarterback, I think the biggest thing is when you throw an interception early in the game, you just got to have faith in what you did all week in practice. Keep your confidence level up and come out here and get it done. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. First down and 10. Bradshaw. Dan picks up about three. The safety up in the box here. Second down and seven. Throwing now to his left. That's a wonderful job that time by the secondary. Everybody's in position. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football, and it leads to another incomplete pass. Third and seven following the incompletion. Play action. Quarterback has it on his hip. Now looking to throw. Well, the quarterback can't get him open. He threw to the right guy that time, but the coverage was so good by the defense, uh, nowhere to get the completion. this decision they're not gonna punt it they're gonna try to pick up the first down tackle down at the 42 yard line how do you stop these receivers now it's almost impossible with the rules of the game uh tight coverage that time they have double coverage on him it doesn't matter the throw comes they go up they make the catch all you can do is raise your arm and go well we did our best that reception gave them the first down they'll go shotgun here the throw to the left. Easy catch there. No one near him. Well, it doesn't look like much, but it really serves the purpose. Picks up the first down, and now they have a chance to open things up. Heads up, heads up, heads up, heads up. Play number six coming up on this drive. First and ten. He'll throw it over the middle. Asimwa picks off that pass. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. I think you can just tell by the body language and the way he's acting. That is an upper body injury. Hope it's not severe. We'll let you know as soon as we find out. First down on the way. Play fake here, looking to the right side and throwing. Right on the money. Not giving up another inch. That time it was an easy completion for the quarterback on the play action pass, and it fools the defense because look how aggressive the offensive line is. They sold the play to the defense, and the quarterback took advantage. After the long game, let's see what they do here. Eyeing that left side. Got a hand on it, and it's incomplete. Terrible job by the offensive line. Your quarterback needs more time than that. Uh, another incompletion. Base 24. From inside the red zone, second and ten. The quarterback throws to the right. It's a touchdown. Well, you got a lead. Now you're able to go out there and drive down the field and score a touchdown. This changes how the other team is going to manage the game from here on out. And the extra point is good. And after that extra point, the Eagles lead by 21. That'll stop the clock with that timeout. Eagles getting set for the kickoff. Now the smart play here is just to squib this one and avoid the big return. The Eagles come onto the field now for this next series. 
quarterback sees something in his defense he wants to take advantage of. Look at the hand signals he's given to the receiver outside. Now first and ten. Looking at every option. Taking off. Gains 15. Good job here by the quarterback. He doesn't like what he sees on the defensive side, so he is changing the play to the receivers by giving him hand signals. Jeremy, another touchdown to increase the lead. Well, there's an old saying in the NFL, you know how many points you need? And the answer is more. So no matter what the lead is, keep trying to score. Nice job by the offense getting that extra touchdown. The kicking team now getting set here for what looks like an onside kick. And it looks like the kicking teams recovered the onside kick. Eagles get ready to start their drive. Eagle, Eagle. Split backfield here. First and ten. Fix looking long. Clutch catch. Touchdown. They're just running it up. When you got a lead, you march down the field and you add on that lead with a touchdown. It's fun to watch the other team. Will they stay patient or will they panic? My bet is they'll panic. And following the extra point, the Eagles are leading by 35. They're lining up here for the onside kick. The receiving team has the recovery. Giants getting ready now to start regular, their drive. Regular, regular, regular. Here's the safety inching up for this play. First down and 10. Looks to his left. That ball is going the other way. They bring him to the turf. Good job by the defensive back. Reading the wide receiver. 